What's up guys, if you are rooted and love the pure Android experience but really don't want to flash a custom ROM to get more features and functionality out of it, you might want to stick around and watch this video. This video is about the Expose framework and how it allows you to really pick and choose what works best for you and what you really want without having a flashy custom ROM that's going to add a lot of unnecessary features that you may not really even use. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we begin, you need to have root access on your phone, little FYI. Then you need to install the exposed installer. Now this is something you cannot, as of filming this, download from the Play Store. It will be the very first link down below on the description that will take you to the XDA developer forums where you can download this. Once you download and sideload, this must be sideloaded, so make sure you have unknown sources to uh, make sure that it will install properly. Go ahead and install, and once you've installed it, you will be able to see something similar to what you see here on my screen. Now, I'm gonna go through everything here, so do not worry. This does, the actual application really doesn't do anything um, in itself. You need to install modules in order for this to work. Modules are sort of like the hooks that other ROMs have, or features, let's call them features. For example, Paranoid Android has that Pi menu. So without having to download Paranoid Android to get that Pi menu, I can just download a module that allows me to do those features or functionalities. And that's essentially what Exposed Framework does. It allows me to do a lot of things that custom ROMs have, but without having to, of course, download those um, custom ROMs. So here, the very first thing you want to do is actually install the framework. And since I've already installed it, I'm just going to go ahead and hit update or install. It's really not going to do much. Go ahead and push on OK. You will need to reboot the phone after this has uh, finished, which it should prompt you. But in case it doesn't, make sure to reboot your phone. Once you're done with that, you need to download modules because essentially this really isn't going to do anything until you start downloading modules. So let's go ahead and push on download and you'll see a whole bunch of different modules. And I'm not going to go through every single one of them because this is like trying to go through all of the applications or most of the applications in the Play Store and explaining what they do. They're, it's pretty much self-explanatory. They have descriptions on here, so make sure and read it. For this demo video, I went ahead and installed a couple of modules. And as you can see, one of them is not ticked. What that means is that I am not using that module currently. So if in order for you to use a module, once you've downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. It's really simple. So for example, this three dot menu mod, I'm going to go ahead and push on that. If I want to download or update, remember, in order to get updates for these modules, you need to use this uh, exposed installer application. So go ahead and hit download. So currently it's on version 1.0. And if there, and if, if there is ever an update, you'll have to go through here. So I'm going to go ahead and push on install. Typically when you install a module, you will need to reboot your phone. I'm going to go ahead and in order to use it, going to, I'm going to go ahead and go back. It will give you a notification that it's not activated. That is exactly what I was showing you earlier. When you push on modules, it is not activated. In order to activate it, you get, you're going to have to go ahead and uh, push on that check mark to activate it, in most cases, you will have to reboot your phone. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these uh, modules. For example, Gravity Box. Once you've went ahead and installed it, it will show up in your application list. So for example, if you search or look for Gravity Box, in my case, since I already have it downloaded, you'll see that it's right there. And you can see that it offers a slew of customization and tweaks. So for example, if you've already paid attention to my uh, status bar, you'll notice that it is white. So I can go ahead and go to status bar colors. And right now the icon colors are white. If I wanted to change those to red, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can see easy has that. Now it matches the back of my Nexus 4. And I can go ahead and do a lot of different modifications. I can make the status bar transparent, sort of like KitKat. Pi controls this Certain modules have a lot more features and functionalities like this one, Gravity Box, offers a lot of different things. If I wanted to hide the clock, I believe I can do that here. Or for example, right now I have hide AM and PM because it really doesn't make sense for me to have that. So once, once this clears, let me go ahead and clear that really quick. It should show the AM and PM. So if I want to hide it, I'm going to go ahead and 
show you that. Now, in most cases, you will need to reboot your phone to see the changes. In this case, Gravity Box, you are seeing them you know, in real time. So if I want to have the clock centered, I can do that, which kind of gives it a different look. And if I want to hide the alarm clock, so right now my alarm clock is visible and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to go through every single thing here because there's just so much stuff that you can do. Mainly what custom ROMs offer. Oops, I want to close that. Let me go back to the Expose installer. Now on a side note, these modules also have certain tweaks that you can do to your phone to make it a lot quicker or optimize your experience. So it's just not more of an aesthetic type of thing. It also serves other purposes. So go ahead and feel free to look at all the different types of customization that you can do. As you can see, um, even uh, battery alerts or e some of them even help improve battery life. So a little FYI there. And before you download, I would definitely do some research to make sure that the modules work well with your phone. Uh, the last thing you want to do is, you know, screw your phone up. So definitely do that. And always, of course, since you are rooted, make sure you do an Android backup before messing with anything uh, that might screw up your phone because the last thing you want is to be upset because it didn't work but so far I haven't had any issues then again I haven't tried every single one of these modules available for the but for the most part it works uh, really well so there you have it that is exposed framework for you and it keeps getting better and better every single time really impressed with it as you can see all of the features and functionalities if you guys truly enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up and also reshare this with all of your friends and family until next time adios